In the invisible world of radio waves, a silent revolution is taking place all around us. These waves, pulsing through the air, are the lifeblood of our hyperconnected society, carrying everything from our phone calls to the data that powers our smart devices. Now, a new global contest is underway. The race for 6G, the next leap in wireless technology. Nations and corporations are investing billions, eager to claim the first mover advantage in a technology that promises to redefine how we live, work, and connect. This isn't just about faster downloads or streaming movies in higher definition. 6G is about building the digital backbone for a future where autonomous vehicles navigate seamlessly, holographic communication becomes part of daily life, and entire cities are powered by artificial intelligence and real-time data. Whoever leads in 6G will not only shape the global economy and security for decades, but also set the standards and rules for the digital world. The stakes are higher than ever with economic power and national security hanging in the balance. At the heart of this race is the United States, long the world's tech titan, home to Silicon Valley, and the birthplace of many digital revolutions. And then there's China, determined to claim its own leadership, rapidly advancing its technology sector and investing heavily in research and infrastructure. The US has tried to slow China's rise, targeting companies like Huawei, which has become the symbol of China's tech ambitions and its challenge to American dominance. But Huawei's unveiling of an advanced AI-powered 6G chip signals a new era. One where the global tech ecosystem may split into rival spheres, Silicon Valley and China's tech hubs, each with their own standards, networks, and alliances. The outcome of this race will shape our digital future in profound ways, influencing everything from data security and privacy to the flow of information and the resilience of our critical infrastructure. Ultimately, the race for 6G is about more than technology. It's about who will define the very structure of society in the decades to come, and how we will all live in a world transformed by the next generation of connectivity. In 2019, the US put Huawei on its entity list, banning American firms from supplying the Chinese giant. The official reason, national security, citing fears that Huawei's gear could enable Chinese espionage, the US expanded controls, blocking Huawei from advanced chips and software worldwide. The goal frees China's progress in AI and high-performance computing, preserving America's lead. For a while, it worked. Huawei's smartphone business collapsed, and its networking gear production stalled. But the strategy underestimated China's resolve. Instead of capitulating, Huawei and China's tech sector doubled down on R&D. The sanctions, meant to cripple, instead sparked a drive for self-sufficiency. Rather than halt China's ambitions, the US campaign fueled the rise of a parallel independent innovation ecosystem. So, how has China responded to NVIDIA's overwhelming lead in the global AI chip market? The answer comes from one of its tech giants, Huawei. Enter the Ascend 910C AI chip, a remarkable achievement for China's semiconductor industry, and a clear signal that the country is determined to compete at the highest level of AI hardware. While the 910C doesn't quite reach the raw power of NVIDIA's flagship H100, it still manages to deliver up to 60% of its performance in crucial AI tasks. That's a significant feat, especially considering the technological hurdles China faces due to global restrictions. This leap forward demonstrates that China can now design and manufacture advanced AI hardware almost entirely on its own, without relying on Western technology or expertise. It's a milestone that many thought would take years longer to achieve. The Ascend 910C isn't just a copycat chip, it's a homegrown powerhouse fueling China's ambitions in everything from autonomous vehicles and robotics to next-generation 6G wireless networks and smart cities. Its very existence challenges the effectiveness of US export controls, proving that determined innovation and massive investment can overcome even the toughest technological blockades imposed by foreign governments. For Chinese companies, Huawei now offers a genuine second option to NVIDIA's dominance, especially for the country's enormous domestic market, which is hungry for AI solutions and less vulnerable to outside pressure. With the Ascend 910C, China can pursue its ambitious AI strategy with greater confidence, knowing it has a reliable, homegrown alternative that reduces the risk of foreign sanctions and helps close the technological gap Washington hoped to widen. Ultimately, the Ascend 910C stands as a powerful symbol of China's drive for technological sovereignty, and a clear warning to the world that containing its progress is far more difficult than many once believed.
The next battleground for technological supremacy is AI RAM, the intelligent, adaptive brain that will power the future of 6G networks. As the world moves toward hyper-connected cities, autonomous vehicles and real-time immersive experiences, AI RAN will be the invisible force orchestrating seamless communication, lightning-fast data transfer and efficient resource allocation across billions of devices. At the heart of this revolution, NVIDIA is championing its GPU-based approach, leveraging the immense parallel processing power of its hardware. Central to NVIDIA's strategy is CUDA, its proprietary software platform that has become the gold standard for AI development worldwide. CUDA's mature ecosystem, vast developer community, and robust libraries make it the go-to choice for researchers and engineers building next-generation AI applications. By forging deep partnerships with global telecom giants, NVIDIA is positioning CUDA as the backbone of 6G infrastructure. The company envisions a future where its technology underpins everything from smart factories to connected healthcare making NVIDIA indispensable to the world's digital transformation. However, this vision is not without controversy. Telecom powerhouses like Ericsson and Nokia are increasingly concerned about the risks of being locked into NVIDIA's closed ecosystem. They fear losing flexibility, bargaining power, and the ability to innovate independently as NVIDIA's influence grows. Sensing an opportunity, Huawei has stepped up with its own end-to-end -end solution, the Ascend 910C chip, paired with its CAN software platform. CAN is designed as a direct rival to CUDA, promising high performance, flexibility, and a more open approach to AI development. This vertical integration gives Huawei a powerful edge, allowing it to optimize both hardware and software for maximum efficiency. Yet despite these advantages, global developers remain hesitant to abandon the familiar CUDA ecosystem for the relatively new and unproven CAN platform. Still, the growing resistance to NVIDIA's proprietary lock-in is creating a window of opportunity for Huawei. If CAN can demonstrate true openness, reliability, and performance, it could become a compelling alternative for the global AI community. Ultimately, the CUDA versus KN battle is about far more than just software platforms. It's a high-stakes fight for control over the very architecture of tomorrow's global networks, a contest that will shape the future of connectivity, innovation, and digital sovereignty for years to come. Europe stands at a crossroads, caught between US security ties and economic links to China. Digital sovereignty is now a rallying cry, with leaders pushing for homegrown tech solutions. Germany and others are phasing out Huawei from their networks, prioritizing security over cost. The EU is moving to make restrictions on high-risk vendors binding across all member states. This shift is costly and complex, but Europe is choosing strategic autonomy over short-term savings. The result, a divided tech landscape, with Europe aligning more closely with the US and distancing itself from Chinese technology. Huawei's Ascend 910C chip is more than a technical feat, it's a geopolitical shockwave. US export controls failed to halt China's progress, instead fueling a resilient, independent innovation engine. The world now faces two parallel tech ecosystems, one led by American firms, the other by Chinese champions. This decoupling complicates global business, forcing countries to pick sides and redrawing international alliances. Security concerns intensify as more nations adopt Chinese-built infrastructure, raising fears of espionage and cyber conflict. The split threatens global innovation, as collaboration falters and standards diverge. The rise of Huawei's capabilities may lead to a more fragmented, less efficient, and riskier world. The promise of a unified digital future is now overshadowed by deepening geopolitical rivalry. Huawei's resurgence marks the end of uncontested American tech dominance and the rise of a multipolar digital world. The idea that sanctions could contain China's rise has been shattered. Now, competition with a peer rival is the new reality. The risk, a fragmented internet and competing standards, complicating commerce and security. Yet, a second option offers nations and companies more choice and leverage. The real contest is for the most compelling ecosystem, who can attract talent, foster innovation, and deliver value. The race for 6G and AI supremacy is on, and its outcome will shape the digital world for generations. 